so basically you're telling me that you guys are based uh, you in the in the in the past you've been based like in Carrollton and Heard and those areas and now you're you're shifting over into Douglasville. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's right. We're based out of Carrollton, Georgia. That's where my office is in Carrollton, Georgia. So we wanted to extend, so we're coming into Douglasville now. So we're in Douglasville also, so we can offer assistance and help in Douglasville. Good. So we're going to have the benefit of Hope for the Journey in mm -hmm. Douglasville. Yes. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. And we'll talk more about Hope for the Journey in just a few minutes. Uh, but if you've watched this show, you know that we like to show the ingredients to our guests while they're on camera. Have, you have no idea what we're cooking, right? No idea. No idea. So what we're going to do is I'm going to take what we call the beach towel of deception okay. off of the ingredients, and you get to try to decide what we're cooking. Okay. You ready for this? I'm ready. All right, here we go. There you go. What do you think? There's two recipes. Are we going to do white eggs? Beans and corn. Beans and corn. We're going to do a salad. We're going to do some sweet potatoes. This is a really hard one to guess. I know salad. We're going to do a salad. It is a salad. It is a form of a salad. Yes, one of the recipes is a salad. This is oven squash. I'll let you off the hook in a minute. I'll give you just a... Another uh, guess. What do you think? Are we going to do some kind of stir fry? That's sort of. Sort, sort of. of. So what we're going to do is you guys are all about the journey of breast cancer. Mm -hmm. And cancer is a yes. huge deal, you know, all kinds of cancers. And there is a huge nutritional component related to both the prevention and recovery when you have cancer. So what we decided to do was go vegetarian today. All right. We have tons of different uh, vegetables here. We've got a bunch of different colors, which they say try to eat your colors. Yes. So that's what we're doing. We're going to do a taco bowl, but instead of meat, the meat is basically going to be, we're gonna get the seasoning in with the sweet potato. Yes. So we're gonna season the sweet potatoes the same way you would ground beef Oh, okay. and we're gonna roast them and while we're roasting those getting them ready for the salad the taco salad we're also going to roast uh, a medley a rainbow medley oh. of vegetables oh okay so roast vegetables and a taco salad that's what we're cooking today that's great because I'm a vegetarian awesome I like Nailed that it. <laughs> I like that when we come back we're gonna start roasting those vegetables All right, so to start the rainbow vegetable medley, mm -hmm. I went ahead and prepped some of the vegetables, but we'll chop some on camera as well. Okay. The red bell pepper I have, I have chunked and put in this bowl so that we can kind of see what the process is going to be. Okay. So what's going to happen is we'll add a little bit of olive oil and a little bit of salt. Just a little bit to season it up. And then a little, oh, those are black peppercorn. Let me get the pepper, freshly ground pepper. And you can season these vegetables with whatever you want. It's, okay. You know, up to, up to the chef. And then we just mix that around so it coats everything. And then we'll just pour it down here into the pan. This is one of those that makes it look nice and pretty. Okay. Push it over here. Looks nice. Into a line. So that's our first row of vegetables. Okay. So if you want, you can start chopping up the carrots and the broccoli, and okay. then I'll continue with the onions. And we'll get this recipe started. When I roast vegetables, I like to cut everything up in about the same size pieces. That way they cook about the same amount of time.
This is a good recipe too because you can modify it depending on what you what you like to eat. In the winter, you can use root vegetables. And just put these on the pan? You'll put them in this bowl after I get done okay. to season them. This is our next line of vegetables. So yeah, you can put your carrots in here and then we'll season them up. Looking good. I love having a huge roasting pan. It just lets the, the vegetables spread out a little more. Perfect. You're gonna beat me. I love cooking. <laughs> well, you're pretty fast at cutting, so I can tell you do it a lot. <laughs> Line number three. Very colorful recipe. They say to eat your colors, so that's what we're doing today. Yes. We've got yellow squash over here. So we're ready for the broccoli? Yes, ma'am. You can throw that into the bowl. Season that up. There's the olive oil and the salt and the pepper. So you are a vegetarian. Yes, I am. Now, did you have you always been a vegetarian or no? I haven't. Why did you decide to become a vegetarian? Health reason. It's more. It's a. It's a more healthy uh, diet and a way of eating, and it benefited me when I was uh, going through treatment. Uh huh. My doctor told me that one of the reasons I did so well with my treatment was because of my diet. That's awesome. And that's, you know, kind of the reason why I chose these foods. They always talk about antioxidants and that type of thing in relation to cancer. And mm -hmm. All these are good vegetables oh, right yeah. here. And they're very colorful. This is working out nicely. Our last vegetable for the roasted vegetables is going in. And then we'll work on these sweet potatoes. The sweet potatoes are for the taco bowl. All my favorites. Awesome. So I chose well. You chose well. <laughs> <laughs> All right, make room for these. Perfect. Don't need that piece. That is just pretty. That is beautiful. I mean, I don't know if I can even eat that. It's too pretty. I don't want to mess it up. All right, while the oven is heating up right now, it's almost ready. Uh, I will start chopping up the uh, sweet potatoes into cubes. And while I do that, why don't you tell everybody about your organization? Well, Hope for the Journey is, um I started Hope for the Journey out of my experience with breast cancer. I am a 16-year breast cancer survivor. I was diagnosed in 2003 with stage two breast cancer. And so I went through a year of treatments. So out of my experience of going through that, I went through a year, I decided, well, I'll go through, I'll take this, this will, ha this will have happened to me, and I'll just, I'll just deal with this. Like most people do when they're diagnosed with cancer, you know, you can't turn it around, so you just learn how to deal with the diagnosis of cancer. And since I was a fighter anyway, I decided that, you know, this is the hand that had been dealt to me. Let's, you know, I would get through this. So I decided to take a year off work. I had already planned. I said, I'll take a year off work. I was working as a CNA, so I said, I'll take a, and I was doing personal care work in the home at that time. And so I took a year off work, and I went through my year of treatments. But after a year of treatments, uh, things that I still had a whole lot of other issues going on within my body and my body slowly started 
healing itself and coming back, but it took several years. Because from 2004 to 2007, I was in out of the hospital having different surgeries and everything. But my doctor always said, she said, one good thing about this, it is not cancer. But the journey was, was long. And then after 2007, had another major surgery. Uh, after that, my body started healing itself. And so going through all of that journey, I, I, I saw a lot of things that was needed. So I started Hope for the Journey in uh, 2009. And the Hope for the Journey, what it is, we wish to give hope to women's fighting against breast cancer. And our vision is to create a community. We have created a community to uplift and support women's fighting breast cancer because no woman should have to face breast cancer alone. And, and our mission, part of our mission statement is that um, uh, we wish to give them women, as women fight breast cancer, we support them through financial assistance. We, we help them emotionally, education, art res, uh, resources. And one of the emotional part of breast cancer is we have a psychologist that work with us because in part of my journey, I was diagnosed with anxiety and depression. My doctor told me I had fought so long and fought so hard that all I knew to do was fight. And so when I came down off all of that, I was diagnosed with anxiety and depression. And so I know that several women, a lot of women that I have worked with, they have had that diagnosis of anxiety. So we have a psychologist that works right along with us also. We also have spiritual support. We have a chaplain that works with us. We have a chaplain that works with us also. And she's also a counselor also. And so we help those women whose journey is really hard. Because mm -hmm. some women's journeys are harder than other women's. You know, dealing with the diagnosis, the emotion. You know, you have family, you have kids, you have uh, husbands. And though we have, we deal with, we work with a lot of single women also. Mm -hmm. So sometimes they need extra support. Right. They need that, that uh, counseling. They need that spiritual support. Mm -hmm. And we help them out financially also. Financially, we help women if they need, we do gas cards. Mm -hmm. We do um, medical support. We support the medical utilities, groceries, and a lot of the things what we can't support them on, I refer them out. Okay. So I partner with other organizations that if I can't do something, I know someone that can help them out. So also. just because you guys can't offer them that actual thing, you know people who can. I know people who can that I partner with in the communities and help them out also. Mm -hmm. And we have a monthly support group that is really, I really enjoy the support group because some women come in and they don't have families mm -hmm. or they might have family members who don't support them on their journey. Right. So they got, the, they got the support of the uh, support group and other women who have went through a diagnosis of cancer mm -hmm. that can help them out also and they can talk with them and and just become friend and embrace them. And we don't leave them alone. Even after they are done with the journey of, of treatment and everything, we still stand there and support them. Mm -hmm. And that comes in the readjusting to everyday lives. Cause sometimes people, a lot of times we ring the bell and we are happy. We finished our treatment uh -huh. and everything. A lot of women, when they're done, they fine and they can go on back into their life. But some women can't do that. So they need that extra support. Mm -hmm. They need, your body have changed, your mind have changed. A lot of things about you have changed. When I went through breast cancer, I'm, I have lymphedema. Mm -hmm. Had I not had the education on how to manage this lymphedema, I wouldn't have known what to do. Right. Because it altered my life, the job that I had. I couldn't go back to, I couldn't go back to my job. Mm -hmm. I can never do that job again because the, limit, the limitation I have in my arm. Mm -hmm. And some women suffer with neuropathy. Uh, they have emotional balance. They go on. We deal with chemo brain. Mm -hmm. Chemo brain is real and it's something else. Yeah. So we help women readjust to life. They may have to change careers because of the battle of breast cancer. Mm -hmm. Or they might have went through, and sometimes women who have a significant others, a husband, they might walk out and leave them in the middle of the journey. Right. So those women need a support team mm -hmm. around right. them. They need someone to come in and wrap their arms around them and say, hey, we're here for you. Mm -hmm. We're standing with you on this journey. We understand because we have been through this journey. Mm -hmm. So that's what we do at Hope for the Journey. That's great. Because remember, no woman should have to face breast cancer alone. Mm -hmm. and, and we may think it like me. I had a whole community standing around me mm -hmm. when I was diagnosed with breast cancer. Imagine the woman who don't have that right. community around her. Or she have family who can't deal with all this. So at Hope for the Journey, we kind of step in and we fill in the gap. A lot of things, we, we fill in the gap. That's mm -hmm. what we do. That's awesome. We do. That's awesome. So it's great to have organizations like you around to help people who, who need the support. And it sounds like 
just about everybody needs that support in that situation. Uh, that's a tough thing to deal with. Uh, so if people want to find out how to get in touch with you, how do they, how do, they do that? Well, we have a website, Hope for the Journey, with GA.R. E my email address is exec director at hope for the journey with GA.R. Okay. And our phone number is 770 214 1491. Awesome. So we have that up on the screen. Write that down. Get in touch with them if you need to. Uh, and we'll talk about, in just a little bit, we'll talk about how people can get involved, how they can donate, some of the okay. events you have coming up. So mm -hmm. we'll get into that. Right now, what we need to do is finish these sweet potatoes, and then we'll be able to get all of these vegetables in the oven for about 25 yes. minutes. Uh, so again, our sweet potatoes are going to kind of be the base of the, the taco bowl. So we're going to season them the way you would ground beef for tacos. Wow. So the first thing we're going to do is I've added a little bit of olive oil. We're going to add some chili powder. So I'm going to grab the measuring spoons. All right, so chili powder. We need one teaspoon. Here's the teaspoon, and that is cumin, and here's the chili powder. So I'll put you on that. I will do a half teaspoon of paprika. And one thing about having counseling nutrition is very important. So sometimes I have speakers come in that talk about nutrition. Uh-huh. We need a half teaspoon of garlic powder, so I'll handle that, and a half teaspoon of cumin, which is right here. We're going to do a quarter teaspoon of the cayenne, so I'll hand you that. And I think that's a brand new bottle, so we'll have to open that one up. My, uh, my wife worked at a nursing home that was very close to the cancer treatment place in Noonan. And it was very well known that when you wound up there, all of their food is organic. Yes. And they serve very little meat. So, I mean, that, that says something, right? It does. It does. I eat no meat. I don't, if, if food, if I know food have been cooked in meat, I will not eat it. So. Mm. I'm basically, I do eggs and I'll do cheese, but I like organic. Uh-huh. The, uh, locally, we, we've had a lot of, uh, we've got the farmer's markets popping mm -hmm. up, and we also have a store called The Farmer's Table that has locally grown fruits and vegetables. So, you know, we've, we've got the, the resources available to do that. So that's good. We're gonna add a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, it smells good. It smells like tacos, right? Sure does. Get that mixed up. And I've got a separate pan for these because we don't wanna we don't wanna mess up that beautiful rainbow right there. No. Alright, so here's our pan for the sweet potatoes. Laid out. That smells good. Mm -hmm. mm. Chili I'm, in the mood. I'm in the mood for some tacos now. All right, so we'll get this in the oven. They're going to go in at 400 for about 25 minutes. Okay. All right, our vegetables are cooking away in the oven, 400 for about 25 minutes. You can check on them to see how they're doing. Uh, so we are prepping the other ingredients that are going in our taco bowls. She's handling the tomatoes. I got the onion. Uh, we've also got some Southwest corn over there. We've got black beans. We've got limes to garnish. We've got an avocado. The avocado will go on top at the last minute. We don't want to prepare it because we don't want it to turn brown while we're waiting on the vegetables. So we talked a lot about your organization uh, as a whole. Um, you guys, you talked about providing some financial assistance and that type of thing, and, and of course, administrative costs, those types of things. You've, mm -hmm. you've got expenses. Yes. How do you pay for everything? 
Well, we have grants. We have grant. We get grants. We apply uh -huh. for grants, and uh, we have funders that fund us, donors that give to us also. But we do fundraisers. We basically, you know, we do fundraisers. And one of our bigger fund fundraisers, our signature event for the year is the Luncheon in Pink. Okay. And this year we're ce celebrating 10 years of hope. Oh, well, congratulations. So, thank you. And so uh, our keynote speaker this year will be uh, Babby Mason. And uh, she, she's going to be our keynote speaker. And, of course, Babby's known for singing also. So she's going to sing for us also. Awesome. And uh, we have a, a, a band, 1201 Entertainment, will be there also. And a comedian, Joyce Howard, she will be the comedian, and she will come speak. And, our, and in our Luncheon in Pink, um, at, our, at the Luncheon in Pink, uh, we give our Community Service Award. We honor a lady who had significant uh, challenges in her breast cancer journey. And it's a really special event. It's a really a special event. It's usually attended some 250 to 300 people there. We have vendors also that come in. And it's hosted at Milltown Music Hall. Oh, wow. Milltown Music Hall in Bremen, Georgia. And it starts at 1230. It's from 1230 to 230. And the cost of the lunch, the, the, the the tickets are $35, and um, you can purchase a table. The tables are $245, and they seat eight. And we have a great, uh, it's a catered event. Joshua, Joshua D. Events does the catering, and his food is, is really good. And so we invite you to come out, and you can purchase the tickets online at our website, or you can give me a call also. And again, when is that? When is it's, that event? The event is October the 6th at Milltown Music Hall in Bremen, Georgia. So that's coming up pretty soon. That's coming up pretty soon. What other types of things do you do to raise money? Um, basically, we do this to fundraisers. Mm -hmm. We do the fundraisers because we have three fundraisers. That's, why, that's how we uh, basically get our money, mm -hmm. through fundraisers and through grants, mm -hmm. through our grants. Uh, people donating individually. Mm -hmm. So people can check your website for events and that kind of stuff they see can what's coming up. That, that event is up on our website. We also doing the, um, we, we're doing our fashion show again this year. Last year was our first year we do it at Uncart in Villarica, in Villarica, Georgia and uh, that was a great event where the ladies who are survivors are you can walk as a survivor or you can walk at, in honor of someone. So we had a mixture of both last year and we partnered with the downtown merchant. We partnered with Cover Me Southern and Sassy Lady, Mayor Norman and The Hangar. We partnered with those stores last mm -hmm. year and some of the other merchants that was downtown. And it was a really amazing event to see those ladies who had went through the challenge of breast cancer mm -hmm. there and um, they walked and it was just, it was emotional too. And Karen Vance, she comes in and she volunteers and do the music for us also at that awesome. event. And then we had a uh, shoot for a cure with Shot Spot in Carrollton. We partnered with them also, and that was amazing. That's kind of a power event. We can go out there and shoot a gun. Yeah. <laughs> but it was it was wonderful because they did it in pink, uh -huh. and the proceeds that was raised, they donated to Hope for the Journey. That's awesome. And here in Douglasville, we partnered with Blue Rose. Michelle is a wonderful person, so we, we partnered with her last year also, and it was called Superhero Women's, where the women, we, it was the last weekend in October where they dressed up in superhero costume. Awesome. And she had eight women that she honored as superheroes, and it was a pretty awesome event, and we're going to do that again this year also. Yeah, we've eaten at Blue Rose. That's, that's some good food, food over there. Food is delicious, and Michelle, the owner, is she is awesome. Mm -hmm. And so it was good that she just, she was getting started and she wanted to partner with an organization, so she chose Hope for the Journey. Now, if somebody just won the lottery and they want to donate all that money, how do they get in touch with you to do that? Just call me at 770-214-1491. And we'll take as much as you want to donate. Perfect. Or you can just log on to our website at uh, www.hopeforthejourneywestga.com. Dot R. Awesome. So we about got everything fixed up for our taco bowls. Looks like we got about 10 minutes left on the vegetables. When we come back, we're going to assemble everything and we're going to taste. You ready for that? Yes, I am. I am too. It's starting to smell good in here. We'll be right back. We are almost ready to eat. The wow. last thing that I have to do is get this avocado ready. 
So our vegetables are out of the oven. I've made us a little uh, display of them. You've got some over there. All right, that avocado looks pretty good too. Let's see if I can cut it nicely. I don't think it's gonna cut nicely. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Tell you what we're gonna do, we're gonna, gonna scoop some out. Avocados kind of hit or miss. Sometimes they'll they'll come right out and be perfect. Well, that's not too bad. Sometimes they're a little squishy. There's a nice piece there and a nice piece here. There we go. So what are we gonna do with the avocado? Top our uh, taco bowl with, okay. a, with a slice or two of avocado, if you like avocado. Some people love it, some people cannot stand it. So I love avocado. Mm -hmm. We also have uh, some lime wedges we can squeeze over the top. Okay. So once again, I've got, got you a plate over there as well with our roasted vegetables. Mm -hmm. Nice display. We're gonna be definitely yes. eating our colors today. Uh, but before we do that, let's fix our taco bowls. Okay. So if you want to give yourself some lettuce in your bowl. And I'll take some too, if you don't mind. Perfect. All right, and then whatever you would like on top. We've got the onions. Get a few of those. These beautiful tomatoes you sliced up. I'm a huge fan of tomatoes, so. Swap. I like tomatoes too. We got black beans. I love black beans. Mm -hmm. And our Southwest corn here. It's got some roasted uh, poblanos and roasted bell pepper. And then of course our sweet potatoes that are seasoned with the, the taco seasoning. Throw some of those on there. Swap back. And then I'm going to put a couple pieces of avocado on mine. And grab a lime wedge. Oh, that looks good. Now we can also do uh, salad dressing. I've got avocado. I have got lime cilantro, and then I also have balsamic, a creamy balsamic. So some people will just eat it without any dressing at all. I think I'm gonna try the, the avocado, but not a whole lot. Let me try that one too. I like avocado. Perfect, all right. What do you want to try first, vegetables or the taco bowl? Taco bowl. All right, she's excited about this. All right, let's get a nice piece of lettuce, some of that, some of that sweet potato. That's good. That's a winner. That is good. Yes, that is a winner. It's got a little, a little bit of spice in there mm -hmm. with the cayenne and the chili pepper. Oh yeah, corn and black beans. Sweet potatoes are good. Mm-hmm. Mm. And they're cooked just to the right firmness. They're not too mushy, but they're not hard either. Mm-hmm. So I think we rocked it. I think we rocked it. <laughs> All right, let's move over here to the vegetables, see what we did over here. Pick a couple out. Mm-mm. This is good. We're getting all our vitamins and, and <laughs> minerals, micronutrients, everything we need. Uh huh. And no meat. No meat. How long you been a vegetarian? For about 20 years. And she's still alive, so you can survive without still meat. Still alive. <laughs> it's possible. It's possible. <laughs> very, very possible. This is one of the best meals we've prepared on here. This is good stuff. It is, I love it. Mm. 
Well, I can't wait to end the show so I can finish my food. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for being on the show with us today. Thank you. Hope for the journey. Again, give them the information if they want to get connected with you guys. Uh, uh, our phone number is 770-214-1491. Our web address is www.hopeforthejourneywestga.org. My email address is executdirector at hopeforthejourneywestga.org. There you Thank go. You. There you go. Thank you again for being on the show. We're going to get out of here. We're going to eat. Make sure you check out uh, all of our shows with Servings Kitchen with a Cause. We'll see you next month.